Well, I mean, our political landscape right now is just abysmal. I think it was 46% of us are sure that we're going to vote in the next election. And I think that that's, that's upsetting for someone who's very engaged in politics and you know, really hopes that Obama's going to be re-elected. It's disappointing. One of the going sayings about you know, young generations, and it's been said before we were born, was that young generations, they don't mobilize around anything. And I do think it's a challenge going forward, but I believe that there's a broader way to speak out uh, and reach about our goals. And I think one way that's possible, and one way that it's po maybe possible today but wasn't possible in yesteryear, is because of technology. It's because, as President Obama showed in 2008, you could really use technology to organize a grassroots um, campaign. I think there's still largely a status quo when it comes to the sort of institutional framework of politics in this country. The White House, Capitol Hill, Congress um, has very low confidence um, levels right now. And I think that's become, because we see them as inherently disconnected to the sort of more grassroots activist oriented approach that the millennial generation is taking to doing politics in our country. So I think that the millennial generation really needs to step up um, and sort of translate their grassroots work um, at really local levels and sort of bring it up to a more national prominence so we can sort of bridge that divide between the institutional and um, what's going on you know, more locally in communities. Well, I think millennials are anti-institution, anti which often seems like a really big problem, but I think that they are, that, that idea is um, what could restore democracy to what it ought to have been and what it originally was. A group of people that are not so sort of quickly wooed by organizations and rising into high powers in organizations could actually have a really unique capacity to uh, bring a sense of equality and empowerment and sort of change the way that campaign finance runs and um, the way that the lobbies sort of runs in DC and um, restore democracy to a place where sort of more voices are heard and more voices matter and people who don't come from privilege can have a place in this city and in, in every city uh, where democracy matters and is valued.